just getting some stuff sorted out quickly, so bear with me. Yada yada yada. Come on. I am not making the same mistake as before, so I need to make sure everything is correct. Edit stream info. There we go. That's the incorrect one. There we go. Welcome to today's video. You asked for a new ship, and after grinding my ass off for you guys, you're welcome. Don't ask me to do that again. Time for the unveiling. Meet our new vessel, the return of the USS Sovereign NCC 73811 from Bridge Commander. Personal log after a fuckload of patrolling and promotions we finally got a command of another ship and now we will be continuing our missions first let's see what she's got shall we Let's continue on with the mission, shall we? Commander Burgess, Starfleet Intelligence. There's something I'd like you to look into. It could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Hiromi Cluster. We also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Bavat, a controversial figure in Klingon politics. I'd like you to get to the truth of the matter, and soon. To that end, I'm sending one of my top agents to join you on the mission. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Don't hesitate to seek her counsel in the field. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are up to. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And should you encounter the Ambassador, do bring him in. I'd like a word. I think Admiral I Quinn says... I think I could crash the party. So blow shit up. That's my specialty anyway. And since I'm a lazy asshole, <laughs> or trans warp, why not? You don't want to know how long it took me to grind up for this shit for you guys. You're welcome. It was fun though. Yes, I know. I've got some stuff from my main account too, which will help us with our progress. But I've just been working on the ship and not the character itself, we'll have to do that as we go. Basically get in the way and make a big mess. It's my specialty.
Have fun. I think that hurt him a bit. It's not a tier 6 ship by any means, but it'll do the job for now. If I can get a hold of a T6 Sovereign, I will for you guys, don't worry. It's just not on my list right now. Up as we go through. Oh, yeah. This is our weapon of destruction. As you can see, I have been doing a bit of work on it. It's not bad, but not brilliant. If you saw my main profile, you would understand. <laughs> it's a constitution class refit, and it is deadly as hell. It could destroy this ship very easily. With all the upgrades I've dumped into it, and I haven't spent a penny. I just grind. That's where we need to go. Jesus is slow. Let's see if we can dump power to the engines. Oh, help. Let's crash the party, shall we? Beam us down, Billy. And if the Tellerite needs to fart, let him go near a Klingon. I'm sure it'd be more than enough to melt his face off. Nothing's worse than a Tellerite fart.
Why, hello there. Well, that sucked. This weapon I got from reward from my main account. It's not brilliant, but it does the job. I'd be happy to tell you what I know. The Klingons are planning something big. They want a weapon that can punch through solid neutronium, which is impossible. And they keep talking about torpedoes, with payloads big enough to destroy a small planet. There are prototypes of... What is with Klingons and weapons? Thank you. All right, let's blow the weapons up. Whoops. Down, boy. Back, cling on. Know your place. Nick the Dayer. Hey, Klingons! That was just too easy. Alright, bring us back up. Face to face at last with one of the Federation's greatest officers. I've read much about you. 
though I'm not as impressed as our intelligence agents are. After all, you were rather easily led to this system by a few well-placed pieces of bait. I've had pet togs with more sense. I have everything I need from the research station, but I must say, <coughs> humiliating a Federation war criminal is, as the humans say, an added bonus. <laughs> Try to stop us if you must. However, I won't think poorly of you if you warp back to Earth with your tail between your legs, there to whimper at your master's feet. I'll give you another offer. <coughs> How about you stand down before I shove my boot up your ass? You have lost this day. Victory is mine and my- I'm coming for you, Barat. Warning, ship is under attack. I sneezed. I've read the after action report filed by Lieutenant Van Ziel. Pity we weren't able to apprehend Bavart, but I'm glad we shot that weapons facility down. Nicely done. And for that weapons research, the Admiral Congratulations. says you're the right officer for this job. Let's run away. New Neutralium Alloy Armor, definitely, that will increase our performance. You definitely need armor. Smoke grenade? Yeah, no thanks. A doomsday machine? Holy Admiral crap. Quinn says you're A doomsday machine? That's not some fun.
before we end the stream, I'm going to show you what my main ship and my main character can do in a battle. It's just a little thank you for all the support. And you'll see how deadly I can be on my ship. And if you'd like to see more of it, just comment in the comment section on YouTube. In the comments section on the video and I will probably put more in if there's enough demand. Ooh, I blinded you. Nick the ship. Yoink. How can I help you? Open sesame! I love beating the Klingons. That was easy. Captain's personal log. I have been betrayed by my first officer, a man I considered my friend, Kavok. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kavok is the only survivor. 
There is also evidence that Kavalk sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. Let him rot in the brig. Ambassador Babart has ordered me to bring him to the Imaga system for questioning. Kavalk will die screaming. It is not an honorable death, but it is the one Kavalk deserves. He knows that genocide is not honorable. my enemy, but today you are my only hope. I will redeem my honor. I was once the first officer of this ship. I served the House of Bavart loyally and well, and fought by my captain's side in battle. I thought I was living an honorable life, and then I learned what Ambassador Bavart's plans for the war were. I could not let Bavart do such a horrific thing. To unleash such a weapon upon the galaxy for his own ends is the act of a coward, not a warrior. I gathered a small group of officers who thought as I did. Our plan was to take over the ship and fly it to the Imaga system. There, we would either stop this doomsday before it occurred, or die in battle. I tried to take this ship. I failed. Now I am dishonored, and I must redeem myself or die. Do you have more questions? When my plan to take the Targ was discovered, I knew I had to act quickly. Bavat has much more than the experimental weapons from the base in the Briar Patch. He has a planet killer, a ship of such destructive power that nothing can stand against it. He intends to use this doomsday machine to attack Federation worlds. I find myself in a strange place. To regain my honor, I must join forces with my enemy. I sent a coded message to the soul system and hoped that the right person would hear it. Do you have more questions? Bavat is obsessed with conflict. He believes that the Klingon Empire will stagnate and fall into degeneration and ruin unless they have enemies to fight. Without war, Bavat believes that we will destroy ourselves. Bavat found the planet killer, and he ordered his scientists to learn how to control it. Now, he plans to attack and destroy one of your worlds. The Ambassador knows the Federation wants peace, but if there was an attack where billions died, would something so heinous make you want revenge? If he succeeds, the war between our peoples will be endless, and Bavat will have won. Do you have more questions? It is a ship with no crew. Its hull is solid neutronium. It fires beams of pure anti-protons and fuels itself with the hoax of destroyed planets. Weapons are useless against it. The planet killer is ancient. I have heard stories that your Starfleet defeated a device similar to this long ago. I hope that you will be able to defeat this one as well. Yeah, Kirk destroyed one back in 2268. Do you have more questions? It will cost it a consolation, though. Deep in the Ta'ang Nebula. Ships from his house searched for months before they found it. Bavat claims to have knowledge of the future. He says that is why he knew the planet killer would be found in the nebula. Its location was forecast. I do not know if this is true. If our actions cannot change our path, then are we imprisoned by fate? Was I destined to lose my honor and betray my captain? Do you have more questions? So he claims, I was once one of Bavat's most valued officers, and he told me many things. 
He spoke of a temporal cold war where factions from the future used people in the past, each trying to change history for their own ends. One of them, the Nakul, tried to use us. Then you know what their treacherous ways. The Nakul tried to curry favor with the Empire in the past. To prove their power, they revealed much of what was to come. But they wanted lackeys, not allies. Our ancestors listened and recorded what they heard, and they spat in the Nakul's faces and sent them back to their own time empty-handed. Klingons will never be willing slaves. Since then, the knowledge that the Nakul provided has been preserved by a small cabal of Klingons. This organization ruled from the shadows using what they knew, what was forecast, to guide the future of the Empire. Bavat is the last. He has no sons and trusts no one. When he dies, all that came from the Nakul dies with him. Yeah, we got dragged into that, hence why we're in the 25th century instead of the 23rd. Do you have more questions? Bavat had a plan to stop the Doomsday Machine if he ever lost control. This ship is equipped with Hach Peng torpedoes. They have a greater yield than any weapon currently used by the Empire or your Federation. The Planet Killer is hidden in the Imaga system now. My plan was to fly to the system, disable Bavat's control over it, and then use the weapons on this ship to destroy it. Do you have more questions? Bavat's forces have total control over the Amaga system. To keep any ships but those loyal to him away, Bavat has installed a series of generators that maintain an energy drain, much like the Breen weapon that disabled ships during the Dominion War. Great. Bavat's ships have been modified to withstand this drain. Any others that approach the system will be helpless. So my ship's out of the question. Bugger. Do you have more questions? Help me. Repair this ship and we will fly it to Emaga together. Then we can disable the energy drain so your fleet can enter. With your help, we can destroy the Doomsday Machine and end the threat to your Federation. That's true honor. Genocide is not an honorable way. It's a coward's tactic. How can I help you? We need a repair team. We're fucked if we don't do anything. Do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kavalk may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Once the energy drain is taken care of, they'll move in to support you. I don't need to tell you how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine before Bavat can use it to attack populated worlds. Millions of people are relying on you to save them. I know you can do it. Good luck. We need a repair crew. Yes, Captain. Understood. I'll join you shortly. I'm monitoring communications from the planet. They're not calling for ships, so either they haven't noticed us, or they think we're supposed to be. We need to...
drones. Ugh. Buffett must have upgraded the security. Scanning the generators now. I have the data. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, we can change the command codes from a terminal on the planet's surface. Ugh, damn lemon drones. Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. So primitive this ship is. Generators are under our control now. Time to land the ship. Say what? The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The beta console, uh, let's just say that Commander Talk prefers fighting to talking. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you, but be careful of the TARs. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command codes. Congratulations, Admiral. Running, running, running. I wanted to be lazy, but I can't even do that. Brilliant, that. Oh, I made it. <laughs> it's 
someone's drop dead. Sucks. Damn warthogs. get for not training my main character's parts, getting a new attack. I got a super tag. Captain, I've been monitoring your progress. Mm -hmm. The Empire will death to the enemy. And you're dead. I see your mission was meet me back. Hello. Sorry, I got preoccupied. Hello, Catok Wolf. Sorry if I butchered the name. I could do that later on at the end of the stream. I plan to use my main profile to do a task force operation. I'll, I'll 
pause it for a second. And I'll give you my gamer tag. And you can message me later on when the stream's done so we can do some operations because this is not my main profile. This is for the missions and all that. No problem. trap in the briar patch like a blind Grizzna cat. And here you are again, luring Starfleet ships to my testing grounds. The Doomsday Machine will destroy them. If you say so. create glorious, endless war and strife. And it is all possible because of you. No! I will not allow you to dishonor the Empire with your thirst for blood. We face our enemies as warriors, Bavat. We do not massacre innocents with machines of death. There are no innocents. There are only the strong and the weak. Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? I have destroyed the device controlling the planet killer. No one is safe. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Don't eat you! Meow! Burn, baby, burn. Anticlimactic. Captain, Klingon comm traffic just spiked. Bavat's forces have lost control of the Doomsday Machine, and they are scrambling all available ships to try to stop it. I've been in contact with Commander Burgess. Now that the energy drain won't affect our ships, the Starfleet Task Force is inbound. We need to get back into space as soon as possible. Glorious combat against a machine. Now this is going to hurt because the Doomsday Machine's weapon is a fucking pain in the ass. I see it. Bavat's planet killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. We need to run a scan. You shoot it down its throat. That's the only thing you can do. planet structural integrity holding sir we're shook up but we'll be okay captain there's an unauthorized shuttle launch it's it's Kavok hail coming in sir I'll put it on the main screen stay where you are captain I'll handle this Kavok, turn that shuttle around! You'll be killed! 
My life is of no consequence. An F for the Klingon. My honor. Let's get no, an F for a Klingon. I must do this. Destroying this he dies with honor. It's the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Koi Kalis Pook Lord. Koi Pook Be Poo. Yakbo Matbo She Shugui. Se Machu Me U. Mashu Manaj Bako Chu. Nibe in my shop. Wolf Go. Valva Hefej in Shop Kinsta. Valpuma Di Pupare. Mashu Tak Kuma Me Mashu Tak. Maho. I'm reading significant damage to the Doomsday Machine, sir. But it's still active. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. They might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine and launch the torpedoes down that thing's throat. The fleet will be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. Damn it, I missed. what you get for using a Klingon bird of prey. Take us around for another solo. One more shot will do it.
Fox. Captain, Commander Burgess is patching a subspace signal through to us. The message is from Kronos, sir. Routing it to the main view screen now. Captain, my name is Kamen. While the Empire realizes that you played a vital role in defeating a threat to both our worlds, I am afraid I must insist that you return the ship you stole immediately. I would not want to have to escalate this into something that we will both regret. The battle is over. We do not need to begin another. Gladly. It might be best to do what he asks, Captain. The fleet's in no condition for a prolonged fight, sir. And honestly, there's not much about the Bird of Prey specifications that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't know already. We did what we came here to do. Let the Klingons have their little victory, and the fleet can take you and your crew back to your ship. The important thing is that the Dooms... Yep, I don't want this ship, it's rubbish. Kavok's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. Fortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday device and end the threat <laughs> of Bavat's weapons programs. We probably haven't seen the last of him, but at least now he's disarmed. At least as much as any Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return the IKS Targ to the Klingons. I don't believe that there's much about that class of bird of prey that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't already know. If getting the ship back lets the Klingons think they won a small victory, I don't mind, and you shouldn't either. There are very few captains who can say they faced a threat like you did today and lived to tell the tale. Impressive work. Questionable. Congratulations, Admiral. Alright. There is one thing we can amp up. Da -da -da. I hate it when you have to redo all this. It's bloody annoying. Oh, what can you do? Accuracy is always useful. Generative shielding is very useful. All right, get rid of that. We don't need that. She also don't need that. Don't need that. Next. You've done well, and while there are still issues at the Klingon front, it's time to move to a bigger picture. Come see me at Earth Space Dock for new information. 
I have no insurance! I think a minor refit will help too. Or might just save it for a bit longer. You've done excellent work so far, so I want to expand the range of your mission profiles. There are trouble spots all over the galaxy. You'll find patrols at... Prepare for transwarp. Maybe not. Oh well. With my new warp speed, it shouldn't be an issue. At least I'm not restricted to warp 5 anymore. And we're here.
Whoops. Next. Crippling fire. This is too easy. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shield has failed. Explosive development. Congratulations, Admiral. Now oh, that's what I call an explosive encounter.
And that's that done. Pick up Damar Khan on Starbase 114 and bring him to Starbase 39 Sierra. Starbase 114 is located in the Celis system in the Beta Quadrant. Next stop, we need to help some Romulans. The Romulan homeworld was destroyed by a weird-ass supernova and they need help making a new colony away from the Romulan Star Empire. But obviously the Star Empire does not like that. Some of it tells me it's not going to be so um, cut and dry. Hello! Admiral Quinn told me that you would be available to take me to Starbase 39 Sierra. From there, I'm going to the Hobus system. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about that area. Fascinating place. I've made it my life's work. This life, anyway. In a word, troubled. Sela rules what remains of the Star Empire, and isn't shy about using the Tal Shiar and the military to bring systems back into the fold. Meanwhile, Ditan and his unificationists have formed the Romulan Republic. The Federation and the Klingons recently recognized them at Kittimer, while Empress Sela and her allies express their disapproval violently. Tensions remain high. The Remans have formed a resistance movement in response to Imperial persecution. There's a lot of bad blood between Remans and Romulans that could end rather poorly. Even more troubling are reports concerning Taurus, the former Imperial Praetor. She was ousted from power by Sela, and rumor has it she's seeking powerful allies from both within the Empire and without. Sela made a lot of enemies over the years, this could be their chance to settle old scores. Goodbye. Packed and ready. The USS Tucker is waiting for me at the Starbase. They'll be taking me to the Hoba system. Maybe this time we'll find the clues we need to solve this mystery. Goodbye. Set course for, for Starbase 39 Sierra. Warp 9. Sorry, I got bored. Thank you for your assistance. Is there anything else you want to know? Not particularly. You may have heard about the tragedy at Kittimer. Empress Sela attempted to disrupt the conference with a bomb, resulting in the death of Commander Temer. Now, Sela is offering a political reconciliation with the Federation, <laughs> despite the fact that we have allied with the Romulan Republic. She has invited Federation diplomats to meet with her delegation at a secure base on the edge of the neutral zone. However, we have recently received intelligence that Sela is amassing a fleet. We are sending you with the peace delegation as cover for your investigation into Sela's activities. This is a very delicate situation. 
You must try to covertly obtain information about Sila's plans without disrupting our peace efforts or upsetting Sila. However, we do have an agent in her retinue who will help you. I have new missions for you. I wouldn't trust Sila as far as I could throw her. and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative at this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. <laughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. Most of the delegates are already in the con- Welcome to Agrama. I am so pleased to see the- Oh, shut up. It is agreeable to meet. The Romulans can be so difficult to deal. We are so. I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulans. I apologize for the in It's war! <laughs> oh, shot him in the head. Franklin Drake says you can be trusted. The lower level of... Empress, the fleet is on its way to Vulcan. Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. At last, we will have our revenge for the destruction of Romulus. Hail Hakiv and put him through to my personal terminal. Then leave me. I have matters to attend to. Yes, Empress.
Computer, begin playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Computer and file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. I have Hakiv, Empress. Patch him through. Greetings, Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Alas, I must disappoint you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. Chitimer did not go as planned. Now they have powerful allies. And with Taurus missing. Spare me your excuses, Hakiv. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our homeworld. You disappoint me, Hakiv. I trust you will not do so again. Like I said, never trust Sealer. I should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats. And you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Guards! Capture the intruders! We need to set course for Vulcan. Let's 
Who cares what the Romans think? They're trying to destroy a Vulcan. I'm not exactly going to stand by and let that happen. Target shields have failed. I believe that is that one dealt with. Next, we need to help the fir the other Starfleet vessel. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. Hey. Oh, I do believe we pissed them off. And you're blind. Expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? No, they're gonna try and destroy Vulcan. I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am. Get us to Vulcan best possible speed. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I have come to personally command the defense. The other forces have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that the ships made. Easy enough. How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. You're in full, aren't you? Our tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter. Looks like I got target practice. Attempts to interfere are meaningless. 
Atlas. Vulcan must pay for its crimes. Vulcan had nothing to do with it. Grow up. Sila has launched her assault. Science vessels, maintain formation. All other forces converge on the Romulan fleet. You're dead. Master class. I'll follow your Doesn't this justify a war outcome, threatening to destroy an entire planet and attempting it? Death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our...
Right, turn us around. Borg energy signatures. Not good. What are the Romulans doing with Borg tech? It's just as well the Sovereign class is built for fighting the Borg. I have Congratulations, Admiral. I have new missions for you. Let's go. Take us our warp. Borg Sphere, okay. Not good. You really think a barrage is gonna do anything to me? Let's see who appears. Alright, let's follow it. Go.
battle stations. And that's them dealt with. Right, hello there. So that one dealt with. And the room is dead. Again.
Ew. And how's that dealt with? <laughs> what the hell's going on? There we go. Let's get out of there. Shouldn't be messing with Borg Tech. That was close. I don't think we're ready to fight anything Borg related just yet. We'll need to get a refit before that. I got some technologies available for the refit though. I have forwarded your mission reports and the recovered data to Starfleet Intelligence. We now know the Romulans have been researching Borg technology, 
and they were willing to risk a war with the Federation to advance their goals. There is a 76.77% chance that Starfleet will have to take action against the Romulans to prevent them from upsetting the balance of power with this research. If that occurs, I predict that we will need you and your crew to assist in averting calamity. You have done well. Live long and prosper. I have Congratulations, been... Admiral. To Kayla, the survivor you rescued from Demora Station, has provided some very interesting information about both the Tal Shar and the new race with which they've allied. Meanwhile, the Romulan Republic and neutral colonies are continuing to report mysterious abductions. We believe these two events are related. Kayla wants to go home to her colony on Serini Prime. The colony there has remained independent from both the remains of the Romulan Star Empire and the burgeoning Romulan Republic. That puts them in a delicate balancing act. We thought taking Takela home could be a good opportunity to figure out what's happening behind the scenes of the Romulan conflict. We would like you to go to Serini Prime and investigate. I have new missions. New impulse engines are always useful. I think it's a bit outdated now. That should power up our impulse, uh, phase of power. Don't need transphasic. How powerful are the phases now? Let's set calls for Earth quickly and get some weapons upgrades. Time for a refit. <sighs> I think we're in a desperate need of a phaser refit. And preferably a torpedo one. But the torpedoes can hold for now.
All right. A minor refit has been completed. Yeah, that should hold up a lot better. Walk on, can hold on for now. Pew! On a remote world, scientists are adapting their own needs. A Federation crew caught in an impossible situation fights to survive, but help may not arrive in time. Who will heed their desperate call? In their anguish, the Romulans could cause a greater tragedy than even they imagine. <laughs> you didn't last long, didn't you? Ooh. I'll upgrade one of them to a tight 10, definitely. And if I can find more, then so be it. An upgrade is an upgrade. That Romlin did not last very long at all, didn't they? Looks like the up weapons upgrades are helping out. Jolan True, and welcome to Sereni Prime. Oh, thank you for returning to Kella to us. I'm sure her family is pleased she is safe. Yes, the Empire has a way of offering assistance. A number of our citizens went missing. Well, what did you think of them? An interesting perspective. I think being neutral is the best thing you can do right about now. If you don't want to get dragged into something.
but it's not for me to say. We don't need help. Set course. Lachi. Brilliant. So they're involved. I doubt it. Keep scanning. Probably being watched. First the Klingons, now the Romulans. Nothing new there.
Hello. Squish it. Kill it with fire. It is with great sorrow that I report the destruction of our colony in the Viranat system when the tall she- Oh shit. Vermin. No good, and they blame it on other people. So typical. Hello. And you're blind. And I can't sh aim for shit, apparently. All Starfleet vessels, our allies in the Romulan Republic, are under attack by the Tall Shar. All combat-ready vessels are ordered to report to New Romulus immediately. Individual orders to follow. Thank you. Orders are to rendezvous with Battle Group Phi at Viranat and proceed to New Romulus to reinforce our vessels there. The battle is already underway. Set course. Best possible speed. Get to New Romulus. Punch it.
We are grateful beyond words for your help. You have arrived in the nick of time. New Romulus does not have the developed orbital defenses necessary to repel such an attack. And Admiral Kerarek is calling for as many ships as possible to defend. Glad you could join us. Concentrate fire on their command ship. A pleasure. And that's them dealt with. The Romulan Republic extends their sincere gratitude for your assistance in saving their homeworld. We now know the race you encountered there is called I Have Congratulations, Revenge. Admiral. The cause of the supernova that destroyed Romulus remains a mystery. Our allies, I have new missions. Let's go. Set course for the Hobe system. Pleasure to be working with you. I heard about how you got your first command. Well done. 
Not every officer could have stood up to the Borg like you did. Uh, is that my cover story? Okay. Agents working for the Romulan Republic have recovered death. Taurus can. Greeting. The hope is. The I'm sorry. To I am detecting some very rare minerals in the system, as well as the presence of protomat. It is possible that Taurus used the materials here. Is that it? Like I said, not enough. Our agent located Taurus on planet. We should continue our search there. Energy signature. If we hide in the asteroids near it and mask our energy signature, I predict that Aran who will approach to investigate further and be unable to detect us. What happened here? We were attacked by Starfleet Sabajuans. They appear to have fled.
Laconia. Last time my ship was here was the Enterprise D after the Yamato was destroyed by a probe. Federation ship. I am Commander Jean Clado of the Riemann Starship Intracu. Your presence here could be considered. Starfleet. We can't let the Romulan Star Empire have Iconian tech. They could appear wherever they wanted. They must have followed me. No, I need your help with the gateway. Send your guards. Pest control. Level one, level two to level ten, that's a big improvement. Yeah. 
Enough. You have won. And in w they were not my crimes. I was betrayed by Hakim. And now those crimes will never be undone. Before we leave. Right. How nice to see you again. I feel like we are becoming old friends. It's you're gonna make me vomit. To thwart my plans have been irritating, but your actions today have more than made up for those petty annoyances. Taurus still has her loyalists among my people. An open move against her would have been a distraction from my greater plans but you played the pawn perfectly i could not have asked for a more obedient tool now if you will transport terrorists to my ship we can avoid any unpleasantness always a pleasure the lisette informed us that you might need Lisette informed us that you had some assistance with the prisoner transport. Good thing we brought some backup. Taurus is wanted by the Romulan Star Empire for high treason and war crimes against the Romulan people. Empire is the legitimate government of the Romulan people, and I demand you turn this terrorist over for trial and punishment. You are a Consider your decision. Prisoner transfer successful. Taurus is safely secured in the brig. We can take it from here. One more thing. We're detecting some unusual energy residue from the surface. Our databases identify it as... Iconian. Yep, I just blew up a gateway. Do you have any idea where they went? Looks like we missed all the excitement, but I have been monitoring your progress. On behalf... We have much to consider. If the destruction of the Romulan homeworld was a deliberate act, not only was it mass murder, but that one event has been a major cause of the destabilization of the Quadrant over the past 40 years, not to mention the light that it casts on the internal struggles of the Romulan people. This one horrible act set off a chain of reactions that could change the galaxy forever. We must know who did this. I have Congratulations, no Admiral. Ooh, a new regenerative shield. Da -da.
Da, 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 da. Alright, before we end the stream, I'm going to do a task force operation with my main profile and show you how powerful my ship is. This is my main profile, which I've had for years. Constitution class, refit, enterprise subclass. Commissioned in 2293. This is my main profile ship. And these are our stats. And as you can see, everything's fully upgraded. But showing it is one. Let's do something major. Perfect. Offensive configuration online. Oh, come on. Lag.
This ship is so overpowered these days. No one's a match for me on this map. My ship is evil.
can't even penetrate my shields. So evil! Warning! Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Ow, I bet that hurt. Now you see why I say that I can destroy my ever ship in one salvo. This ship is just very dangerous. Let's go against the Dreadnought. I'm gonna have some fun.
<laughs> My accuracy is very good. I very rarely miss. And this is one more. We have a situation. This is one more little thing I want to prove. Come on. All hands, we have the... The Admiral is hailing the Klingons on all frequencies. No response. Warning. Ship is The Klingons attack. are making an attack run on the subspace relays. The Admiral has signaled weapons for Target. Klingon formation is breaking. All ships, get chased! me of a cloak. My ship's so out of place. Klingon 
Pod ships decloaking. All ships, this is Garrett. Execute battle plan Sigma 4. Repeat, execute battle. Concentrate fire on the cruisers. We need to protect them. Ground characters can do. Daniel's be that door to the left leads to an engineering section. Good place to set a charge. <laughs> this is the captain. There are intruders in the engineering section. Eliminate them immediately. So much for the element of surprise. Damn! Science lab over here. Probably the only one on a ship of this size. Another good spot for a bomb. Talk about overkill. Charges will do some damage. Now we just have to find the tractor beam controls. You need to finish them now. All of them. You don't understand how dangerous they are. And now you'll see how well I can go up against the entire fleet. Even though the ship technically gets destroyed, in reality, they wouldn't stand a chance. you can. 
can, Starfleet. You won't get far. Hashtag overkill. Starfleet officer has the courage to die well. Tommy Dune, Bobby Dune. Next. How many could I get on this one, Solar? Come on. Target shield has sailed. Uh, that's not exactly how I would imagine it. More like overkill. Welcome, nerds. Ba the only problem is I got so much shit. It's unreal.
you can see now I wasn't exaggerating on my ship it's definitely very powerful it's a tier 6 X And don't tell me the trait's gone again. Uh, yep, it has. Really? Yeah, why not? Well, that's it for today. We'll be next week. We'll be definitely multiplayer because I've done enough grinding for this week on Star Trek Online. So forgive me on that. Don't know what I'll we'll do yet, but I'll make it up as we go. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend and week, and have a good one. Thanks for watching.